Hey everybody, it's Trevor Sanders, um, workers' compensation attorney here in Utah. Um, here to do another video. Uh, it's Monday, the 19th of September, about 9:30 in the morning. Wanted to do a video this morning and answer a question that comes up a lot, and that is about causation and workers' compensation. What does it mean? What do I do? How does it work? Those are very, very common questions, and the thing to keep in mind when it comes to causation is before we sue, not open a claim, that's already been done if you've been hurt and you're talking to an attorney, almost always there will be a claim opened up with the insurance company. But I mean filing a claim with the Utah Labor Commission suing for benefits that have been denied. That's what we're talking about. And to be able to support that filing, we have to have a note from a doctor that says, yes, they were hurt at work, and these are the injuries, and that accident and those injuries are connected. They're related. We have to have a doctor saying that. It can't be me saying that or arguing that in court, which I would, and it can't be you, the patient, saying that. It has to be the doctor's opinion. And it feels very, very nuanced, like, hyper-technical when I say nuance. It feels like that, like, well, this doesn't make sense. I got hurt and I have these injuries and I need the surgery. Of course it's related. We're assuming, and you're probably making an accurate assumption, a very, very accurate and strong assumption, but we still have to have a doctor to connect the dots, connect the circuit, if you will. And that takes some effort. Sometimes doctors will say it right in their note. Sometimes doctors, if I send them a questionnaire, will write it down like, yeah, this is work-related, these are the injuries, etc., etc. Some doctors are like, eh, I don't want to get involved with that. I don't want to deal with these attorneys. I don't want to deal with it. It's just a pain. I don't want to deal with it. So in those situations, what I do is end up having to retain somebody to get that opinion. But either way I look at it, whether it says it in the note, whether the doctor fills out a questionnaire for me, or we have to retain a doctor to elicit that opinion from them, all those roads lead back to the same requirement, and that is I've got to have some kind of medical support to file the case. And it can it can be difficult um, and can be time consuming because I'm usually trying to gather records and get them to a doctor, get the form to the doctor, or get the form to you to get to the doctor. There's always some legwork early on, and there's a rhyme to the reason. There's a method to the madness. It feels tedious and irritating, but it's a really, really important technical requirement. If that's not done, if there is no causation linking those things together, the Labor Commission may well dismiss the case, or the defense, once it's filed, will file a motion to dismiss the case. So it's, it's an important requirement, and it's probably one that's not understood a lot, and I wanted to be able to share that. If anybody likes what you hear, uh, feel free to reach out to me directly. Uh, UtahAdvocates.com is our website, and the office phone number, 801-363-9982. Thanks, everybody. Have a good Monday. Bye.